Number 11. Spoil one's appetite. It means to eat something that makes you not feel hungry anymore, usually before a main meal. Eating snacks might spoil your appetite for dinner. Eating snacks might spoil your appetite for dinner. Don't spoil your appetite with junk food. Don't spoil your appetite with junk food. He had a large lunch and spoiled his appetite. He had a large lunch and spoiled his appetite. Number 12. Send in an application. It means to formally submit a request or form for something, like a job or program. She sent in an application for the scholarship. She sent in an application for the scholarship. Don't forget to send in your application before the deadline. Don't forget to send in your application before the deadline. I sent in my application last week. I sent in my application last week. Number 13. Submit an application. It means to give in a form or document requesting something, such as a job, admission to a school, etc. You must submit an application to be considered for the role. You must submit an application to be considered for the role. He submitted an application to several universities. He submitted an application to several universities. They need to submit their applications by the end of today. They need to submit their applications by the end of today. Number 14. Apply for a job. It means to request consideration for employment. She's going to apply for a job she found online. She's going to apply for a job she found online. He applied for a job in the new tech company. He applied for a job in the new tech company. Many people apply for jobs through LinkedIn nowadays. Many people apply for jobs through LinkedIn nowadays. Number 15. Keep an appointment. It means to make sure you attend a meeting or see someone at the arranged time. It's important to keep your appointment with the doctor. It's important to keep your appointment with the doctor. She always keeps her appointments and is never late. She always keeps her appointments and is never late. Despite the rain, he kept his appointment. Despite the rain, he kept his appointment.